An elevator pitch. Breadsheets and bedsheets. <laughs> oh, how can, I mean, how can I possibly be that? Jilly Cooper, sexy, thrilling, dangerous. Yeah. Wow, elevator, go on. Ooh! <laughs> Silence. I just stole that from a previous Did interview. Did you? And it wasn't mine then either. Oh, man. I mean, I can't top that. Sexy. Yeah. Thrilling. Dangerous. Yes. But much better. Fun, it's steamy, it's sexy, it's hot. British bombastic. Ballsy and boobs. Apparently, only bees are allowed in there. <laughs> I don't know why. No, no, it's important. It's very British. Clever. We're in 1986. We're at Rutcher, Cotswolds. Very we're authentic to their time. Very authentic. We're in the middle of these two independent television companies mm -hmm. battling it out for this big franchise that they're both dying to get. Um, and all the dynamic relationships and, um, and the hot sex that happens in between. Boom. <laughs> Do you buy it? Boardrooms and. No, I've lost. Boardrooms and bonking. Uh, embarrassing. Yeah, okay. Is I'll say, way? can we go again? Boardrooms and bonking. Thank you. Yeah, cut, great. cut that in. Awesome. So that's what I think you need to say about it, really. Jilly Cooper, yeah. Jilly Cooper, you know. Yeah. She's the governor, governess. Yeah. yeah. What more do you want? Come on. In keeping with the, the theme of rivals, I was wondering what your favourite on screen rivalry is. Oh, that's a good that that's is a, a good really question. good question. On screen rivalry. Yikes, that's a good one. We should have prepared yeah, for this one. Damn, yeah, we should have. I think we dropped the ball here. Um, okay, no, let's think. <laughs> no. Well, I just think of succession, that's all rivalry, isn't it? And uh, and it's just such a good sort of jumping off point for drama. I mean, succession immediately springs to mind, doesn't it? The, all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yes, all yeah. of the characters. That's really tough. Oh, it got me sweating that I one. Know, I mean, this right? is like, I should know the answer to something like this. We'd have to come back to you. We're terrible. Well, I'll go step toe and son. Just uh, because, uh, <laughs> that, that is... because that was a while where they hated each yeah. other with a passion, but they, they also loved each other at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I love so, um, you know, shout out to Wilfred Bramble. Yeah. I was going to say Tom and Jerry. Oh, really? Yeah, because you've got to be Jerry, obviously. Hmm. Oh. I want to come up with a good one. I do too. I wish you'd given us some notice yeah, exactly. for this question. Oh my gosh! Brennan. Uh, uh, Brennan? No, no, yeah, it's Brennan and... Yeah, hey. yeah. He's forever going to be Will Ferrell. Dale. Dale. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think them. The, the beginning of Mad Men with um, Don Draper and um, Peter... What? what the, oh, Campbell. Peter Campbell. That's because oh, yeah, he's really good. jealous of yeah, Don Draper. I'll, 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 I'll go with that one. That's great. I am, too. <laughs> oh, my God, Blaze of Glory as well. God, Will Ferrell. Anything with Will Ferrell. All I know is cartoons these days. All I've been watching is Netflix Kids. Gecko the Garage, there's somebody in that. There's a big rivalry between the Weasel and Gecko that we've okay. we've watched a lot. Gecko, he's, he's, he, he understands the relationship and he, he's um, they still want to be friends apparently. So we'll, we'll watch that again tomorrow and see what happens. Same thing. That's a big rivalry in our house right now. That's all I can think of. We don't watch grown-up TV anymore. <laughs> I've just realised, just don't watch any of it. We've never have watched grown-ups on television. It's crap cartoons. <laughs> We did it around the office and we had um, Step Brothers, wow. Wolf Harrell, and, um, and then The Doctor and the Master came up quite a lot. I was going to say that, but I thought it would be a little bit too obvious. No, there's enough in this show to keep everyone going. I think this, this fills us up on all the rivalries happening, yeah. 1986. You can have whatever you want. Come to the Cotswolds. Exciting things are going to happen to us in a place like this. I think probably the scenes that live in the memory are the ones when it's quite a large ensemble cast full of really brilliant people, very different types of actors, very different types of personalities, but it was always a joy to be in a room together. So probably those big, big party scenes where everyone's around, they're the days that I remember yeah, most fondly. they were brilliant, weren't they? Well, we luckily got to all be together a lot because there's so many kind of party scenes and they were really fun days where we all got to know each other right right from the beginning. Yeah, they were good. We were happiest when we were all together, I think. And also our director, um, Elliot Hegarty, our lead director, in a lot of these scenes encouraged improvisation. Yeah. And they're big scenes, so, and, and with, you know, superb actors, as you know, David Tennant, Catherine Parkinson, Danny Dyer, mm. Alex Hassel, um, you get get to watch couples doing brilliant acting, mm. brilliant improvising. I think um, Rufus Jones deserves a mention on the improvising. He was so funny. He plays my husband. He, yeah, Rufus Jones. And yeah, you sort of, when you're on set with people like that, you really, you kind of have to, you know, bring your A game because everyone is so talented um, and on, on it, you know. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a dream job. There's a scene 
Well, a number of scenes where uh, Rupert is interviewed on Declan, the TV show. Mm. Um, so me and Aidan had a, this long interview that was filmed as if it was a TV show. Um, and so we'd do like 14 minute takes that were just like a little play. And that was really, really good fun to get to sort of spar with Aidan in front of a live studio audience mm. in that way. Well, I loved our stuff on, we got some really nice stuff on a moving train. Yeah. It was hard to shoot, yeah. but it was really well written and cute. Mm. And um, it's got such an ensemble piece, you know, there's big, you know, sections with all the cast and actually it was just me and Catherine on our own. And then he did a stunt as well. You ran after a moving vehicle. That's right, yeah. And I jumped on the train like Superman. Well, more Clark Kent, but uh, it was great. I loved it, yeah. Mm. What preparation did you have to do for that? What, for the running uh, on, a, on a platform? <laughs> None. And when you see the scene, you'll realise <laughs> that I didn't prepare for it at all. But, um, you know, I pull, I pull it off. You pull it off. You know. I was actually thinking about um, our scene that we had to do by the end, where we were really desperate for, for Maud and, oh, and Taggy to have a, a moment where they... they they um, confront, and you'll have to watch the show to see what happens. But it's a moment where they sort of um, acknowledge each other, and um, there's so much passive aggressive, you know, unspoken um, comments between um, Maud and Taggy. And it was nice mm. to have a moment where we come together and really, um, yeah, acknowledge uh, acknowledge our differences. Yeah, nice to investigate that parental daughter. Um, shift that can be really dark and it can be really supportive and really light and then we, we did get to a point where you know that that spot had to be um, picked. Yeah. There's like a rival element there. I oh 100% they're rivals. You said, it, you said it, you're the first person to say it. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> can I? Yes. Welcome to the Catwalls. <laughs> I didn't ask to come here. They're all horses and dogs and houses and cars. It was a table read, yes. Yeah. Table read in North London somewhere. Um, but it, I, you know what? The table read, I just remembered, it was one of the biggest ones. There was I so have many never, people. I've never participated in a table read. It was a bit scary, It was right? intimidating I was a, a bit little scared. bit. Yeah. There, was two, there, was a, there was a proper there upper level. There were layers. Yeah, there were yeah. like an upper level, a lower <laughs> level. And it was, I mean, it was, that was the biggest table read that I've in. But, but we all were in it together. We were all nervous we were. together. And it's always good we like were. when you kind of have that shared yeah. energy. So how many producers do we have in yeah, this room? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot. It was yeah. a lot. There's a lot of people that can fire you that day that are all just sitting around staring at you, you know? Yeah, it was terrifying. We walked in and there was just so many. I've never, we all looked at each other like, oh my God, what is this? So many people in that read through, everyone from Disney. We were all crapping ourselves, let's just put it that way. Yeah. Hearing the character for the first time. Actors a lot of don't like, love table reads, especially no, this. No, it's hard. And you get different energies from different people, which is good, uh -huh. but it's hard for you. Where do you lie? Like, how, the, how much am I going to give? Much, yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of, exactly, yeah. Yeah, no, oh, God. for sure. And then we all walk out thinking that we're, we've we're been fired. sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, so we hit the pub. <laughs> Pretty soon, once we were filming, we all got together. Um, and that really was the sort of uh, the, the light to the, uh, yeah, the bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you. So, what drew me to Rivals? Um, well, I, I'd known, I'd actually not read any of Jelly Cooper's um, books before, but when I got the audition for it, my mum screamed. Lose her mind. Yeah, she really lost plot. She went, you have to get this. Although before I'd read a script, when a script came through on an email, my wife saw that a script for an adaptation of Rivals by Jill Cooper come through and she told me there and then you will be doing this. There was no debate in our house. She was so excited that this was Any being part made. As well. I like that idea. Oh, there was no, yeah, there was no script to be read. I was yeah. just, uh, I had to sign up for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I was very much encouraged by Georgia who uh, was and is a big fan and is very excited <laughs> that this has been made. It's a different kind of role for me and since I sort of left a long running job, I. I'm, tr I'm trying to, uh, if I get the opportunity, do different stuff, and 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 this came along, and this was uh, this was perfect for me, and and an elite job with elite people, and so it was an absolute no-brainer for me, and and because I'm 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 not the lead in this, so it's a lovely part, but it, it's not the responsibility of carrying the whole project. It was perfect yeah, for me. Yes, time off. Yes, uh, yeah, I mean you had a couple of holidays as well. I had a couple of holidays. So, doing filming, I. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I knew Laura Wade well, who I knew, who, who was the one that got in touch with me first about it, and so I, uh, 
I had the double excitement of it being Tilly Cooper's books and then Laura Wade, um, who is a magical writer, and then Dominic Treadwell Collins, yes. who is a magical writer and producer. So I think it was the people like collecting around it as well. I just, uh, um, I did read the scripts, but I would have said yes without reading them. See, I didn't read them. No, but I, no, I, I read no, them I did, for I him. Uh, and then I used to <laughs> whisper his lines. Uh, on set, and then he and it say about that, and it works. We got away with it. Incredible. <laughs> and I ended up reading the books before I got the part, and I was slightly panicked because I had about five days to read it or three days to read it, and it's quite a hefty novel. And I read it in 24 hours, and so I was like, oh, I do understand why she's the national treasure, and they're a lot of fun. And so, um, having once I read the book. The scripts, uh, obviously the source material too, but um, yeah, the the brilliant scripts um, and the depth and scope of the characters in the world, um, they're all really layered, um, flawed, interesting, not straightforward characters, which is always really fun to play and, and uh, you know, I think it's important to have shows that are like that. Listen, oh. Disney Plus have horrors on there. They can have Julie Cooper. They are a broad base. They are a broad base. It's not just singers.